Hey guys, Miami Matt Fishing here, and today we're here out in Snapper Creek in Miami, Florida, ready to catch some peacock bass. We even brought live bait. I got my girlfriend with me, so it should be a lot of fun. And uh, we're taking out again the 2020 Bass Tracker boat. I'm gonna give you a quick glim glimpse on what my rig is. And we're gonna take it out here. And this canal system, this canal system's amazing. It goes um, all the way to west uh miami dade all the way south i mean this place takes over all of miami dade county so the cool part about it is is a lot of peacock bass there's even snook in here but our focus today is peacock bass and um honestly it's just i'm very happy as well going out fishing but my miami hurricanes won yesterday against uh florida state so very excited about that uh the season for me is complete if we beat florida state and uh we're excited so the canes fans were excited hence i'm repping the hat I uh, got my new tracker boat uh, stuff and really the tracker boat clothing I recommend it. it's one of a kind it's uh, really nice and I got everybody here looking at me like who's this guy videoing <laughs> so cool thing is we're gonna launch over there unfortunately there's a couple people over there in the way so we're gonna wait for them to leave and then we're gonna head out that way and um, it should be a lot of fun uh, stay tuned go we're all set boat is off car is locked we're gonna have to watch the weather a little bit but we are good i have my locking system right here let me unplug this i really don't need to but i always do and um we're all set to go i always get nervous when i leave the boat so this is the snapper creek canal it's a very tight fit all the trash, I don't believe it, people. Y'all need to pick up your trash. There's even a pair of dress shoes inside the water. It's kind of sad. Um, so let's go ahead and check out how yeah. we're gonna get in here. Oh, that works. Nice work. Just jumping in. All right, let's do this. So yeah, guys, it's literally, the, you're in the heart of the city here. But some of the best peacock bass fishing you'll have ever. Stay tuned. I think I'm going to put it into the uh, chesty cam or I might do another scene of us just cruising here. Um, but stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is what we're up to. We're in the canal system, but then you get to go through the neighborhoods. Um, obviously everything here is uh, public land on the water, but of course it's private land on the, um, on the grass line. So, you know, be courteous. There's also, if you ever come out here, there's a lot of trash, a lot of uh, broken logs, uh, palm tree branches. So I really recommend you being careful when you're driving and making sure you're dodging everything you need to dodge. Um, other than that, we're going to see if we can settle in. I'm going to look on fish brain and try to find out a good spot for peacock bass. And then we're going to get some light bait in here and uh, catch some big peacocks. So stay tuned. Great. I was in picture mode and I didn't realize, but Lisa Nanny got over here, got a fish. I got a nice peak. Oh, there it goes. Get it. Get that hook away. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's keep. Come on, buddy. Oh, there's another one jumping over. Ah, nice work. He's a little bit bigger. Nice work, huh? All right, let's get this so you can hold them. That's a little bigger. He's bigger. He is bigger. <laughs> nice work, babe. Go. Come away. Nice. Thumbs up. Good work. That's two. Over there. <gasps> Seriously, Matthew. <laughs> 
What the hell? I thought I had something. <laughs> I think I had that on camera too. That's awesome. You okay? Yes. I had a turtle. I mean, I know how to get one off. It's just a mission to get them off. Wow. That's crazy. Here we go. Oh, that is a good one. What? Yeah, finally. Woo! All right. I love it. Right there. A good South Florida peacock bass. Woo. It's a little bit bigger than mine. <laughs> nice work. Come on. Oh, no! Oh. oh, no, it's coming back. There's another one. There's a whole bunch. Keep going. Come in. Get in the net. Get in the net. Oh my god, got it. I was gonna try to de hook him, but he wiggled. <laughs> you want me to get him? Yeah, I was trying. Here you go. That's awesome. <laughs> I missed it. I don't know why she doesn't get me. I always try to put the hook. I always try to put the hook overboard. Look at that, huh? Nice work. Here, switch it. Let's do it. All right, you know how to hold it where my yeah, thumb is. In Get it in there. No, I can't. I don't have no, it. No, no, you're good. Put it. Put your hand in there. Babe, See? I can't. Get I it? can't get it. With All your right, hand hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Right. Now I got it. Now you got it. Yeah. All right, good work. Sorry, I'm almost. I'm getting better. <laughs> You're getting better, but good work. Look at you. <laughs> Babe, you're on fire, number three. Awesome. Here, let's take a selfie. Look at that. Can I be high? Let's see. No. Yeah, you can be high. Like. <laughs> All right. Nice work. Hold on. Here we go. Oh no! Did I get it? Yeah. No, I got it. Here we go. Yeah. Give me that net. As long as I keep the hook and all that. Oh, it's a good one. Right there. You see him? Oh yeah. You got him in there? He's underneath the boat. Swinging him on. Okay. Nice. That was a good one. Sorry, he went under and I couldn't get him. He's pretty. That's a pretty one. Nice. Hey, that's a way to finish off this lake right here. We're going to move on, but that is a beautiful peacock bass. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous peacock bass. Wow, that was awesome. Very cool. Yeah, this is a little bigger, but they fight. That's what I love about peacock bass. They fight so well. That's beautiful. Woo. Got the whole neighborhood looking at me right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So we caught about five in this canal system slash lake. Um, it's a private community, but again, you can use the waters and the waters are public. Uh, just be respectful. But honestly, it was a great time, wasn't it? It was good. So we had about five fish and now we're gonna head back out here. And then once we head back out here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, head to the main canal. Oh, look at the cat, how cool. That's like a very unique cat. But yeah, this place was great. Uh, it's a no wake zone, FYI. So I'm trying to keep it uh, quiet and, and trying to be respectful again. But man, that was amazing. So I had a great time. We're gonna keep it going. See what else we got. Uh, the, weather, the weather's okay. Um, so far so good so we'll be on the lookout all right guys so the weather kind of uh it started raining 
but honestly we see our car from over here but we're underneath this bridge so we should be okay um we're just there's no lightning thank god let me go back a little bit and then you got these birds iguanas in here the question is we're trying not to hit anything while we're under here but honestly this is a good part about the snapper creek canals if you get caught in the storm you can chill underneath uh the bridges so but yeah i guess uh postpone or we're on a rain delay for this fishing trip we're just gonna wait a little bit we have our rain jackets but we want to see about just maybe just let it blow over for a second uh, stay tuned so we kind of said screw it we're gonna kind of keep going in the rain again tractor gear is on point but what we're gonna do is just go ahead and keep going and then see What's our next spot? And I'm gonna chase And I'm gonna chase I know we can't be blown No matter how hard we try And I'm gonna chase And I'm gonna chase I know we can't be blown No matter how hard we try Fire in the veins I fight to gain Breaking all the rules just to keep me sane All right, guys, so we actually completely switched the idea. There was a storm coming in, so we headed west, not south. Uh, we headed west, and honestly, if you know Miami, we're right here pretty much on Sunset at 107, and this is the neighborhood. This is the bridge you cross. Um, there's Sunset at 107. So again, we went from, if you know Miami, we went all the way down from Pinecrest, Dadeland. We went from Pinecrest, Dadeland to Southwest Miami-Dade in five minutes so the cool thing about these snapper creek canals you can get everywhere and you go underneath you go underneath those bridges and you're all set so it's a lot of fun very cool experience let's keep going and we'll see if we catch some more peacock bass you know why it's all because i said we've been doing really good at not losing our bait fish see i started talking about it Ooh, i threw one right i see the peacock ready Got him. Net? Nope. I was just watching. Coming. Ah. Honey. No, no. Nope. <laughs> in my head on the first time. Nice. Nice. And this is. Oh, no, one... now we're tied. Now we are tied. Nice. Look at that. Woo! Beautiful South Florida peacock bass right there. That's the biggest one of the day. That's, I want to say four pounds. That's good. I love it. Nice work. He's got a little bulge on his head. The bulge is, I think he's a male. That's, when that, that's what that means. Look at that. That's an awesome, awesome peacock bass. Cool. All right, guys, so now I took the lead, even though I told Lisa now is back on it because she wants to try to win. But I told her it's not really a competition, but it's just fun. We get competitive sometimes. But this has been a remarkable experience. That was at least a four pound peacock bass. And I fought like a, you know, like a, I want to say an eight pounder. That's the best part about peacock bass, they fight. So let's see what we can catch next. I put a much smaller bait fish to see what we can get. The storm prediction is 80% by two o'clock. It's one o'clock. So we'll see, we're starting to head back. Lisa's working that trolling motor. She's learning, she's learning. And then other than that, we'll see who's catching the next, the next peacock pass. Oh, she got some. Did she get it? Mm-hmm. Bring it here, bring it. Woo! Caught it. <laughs> Falling off my chair. Nice. Good work. 4-4. Four, four. Good work. Here we go. Ready to hold it? Funny thing is I had the phone out 
You can hold him here and he won't wiggle as much on you. Like this? Yeah. All right, so we got down to the last bait. 4-4 four, four tied. Wow, this is like bottom of the ninth, two outs. Base is loading. Fourth quarter minute left for my basketball player over here. That was pretty epic. I just love how you're like, ooh, 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 ooh. I, I have no other words when that happens. <laughs> no, I know. I thought it was awesome. All right, guys. So we're down to our final two baits right here. And we're at least in our boat tied 4-4. Four, four. So we should see what's going to happen. We're actually coming to the spot where, according to Fish Brain, there's a ton of fish or a ton of peacock bass. So right over here, we'll be able to find out by that bridge. So I think, uh, babe, what are we going to do? We're going to go over there and throw it and try it there. Try to get our last ones. All right, cool. And probably call it a day. And call it a day before the storms roll in. And it's getting pretty dark. But again, it only takes, what, five minutes to get to the boat ramp? Yep. Even though we've been exploring all day. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Um, just the PSA here, though. We had a very interesting scenario uh, over at the boat ramp over there, uh, the Snapper Creek boat ramp. So here's the thing, guys. Use your boat ramp etiquette. I have a whole bunch of people over there with their jet skis just hanging out, playing on, on the boat ramp like if it's uh, a parking lot party. Uh, they don't even have trucks. It just doesn't make sense. They were very rude. They kept waving and kind of driving the jet skis back and forth and not letting us uh, just really, you know, put the boat on the trailer and just kind of doing it quick and get out of everyone's way. We also had a guy that was impatient. The second I got my boat on there, he was already backing up. I had to tell him to hold on. Um, but it was, uh, just remember your boat, uh, boat ramp etiquette, but I'm not gonna let that ruin the day. We had a great day. It was eight peacocks total. Um, we had four and four. We lost our last bay and we weren't able to see who won. So we'll call it a tie. Um, <laughs> but honestly, guys, it's a great experience out here besides the whole boat ramp issue. It's a great experience out here in, in Miami-Dade, going through Pinecrest, Dadeland, South Miami, uh, West. we went to West Kendall, Westchester. This whole canal system is incredible. A lot of peacock bass use shiners. That's the way to catch them um, very, that's the way to catch them all the time. The shiners are the way to go. Obviously, popping corks, jigs, and spinnerbait work great. But honestly, use the live bait if you want to come out here and have a great time, especially with kids and friends and girlfriends. Like I promised her, I was going to get her some fish, so I used the live bait. Great experience all around. The tracker boat did phenomenal. I really love it. And uh, guys, anything else, babe? Guys, until the next adventure. Peace.